And welcome back to Penumbra, The Dark Descent. Where we left off, we were just being chased by something, and we hid in a closet. And now let's go to the study. But he panted heavily, training on the screen. Uh, the medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Is this where I was before? No, it isn't. But similar. I see. Let's see what we can find. Anything in the piano? No. I believe I have become immune to those screeching women in the background. At least I hope I have. Oh my god. I have, like, no oil left. Oh, that's nice. That is being moved. Let's see what you have to offer. sharpen the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Ew. Milestones of human anatomy. Then why was he, like, dissecting it? Hey, Fido. Go fetch the head. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't be anything like Penumbra. Oh, and I can't move it. Oh, dear. Okay, let's not go there for now. For now, let's see what this say. Canis lupus familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induces stress, which seems to trigger an endoge ah, endogenous response, caused by causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it reeks of cosmic genia, genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting the energy since the creature is bound to die from exercise, from the exercise. I must refine this process to torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessarily, necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments the experience of terror. That's nice. See any goodies? Dead bird. Chair. Candle. No goodies. No oh, goodies. Shovel. What's this? A canine spine. Try saying that five times as fast as you can. Oh god, 
it is Penumbra all over again. I'm gonna go back out there real fast. I'm gonna move this stuff over here. Just in case I have to block the door. I don't really see where that get me seeing as I really don't like that. So oh. fucking <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. I was not expecting that. I really don't like that. What's this say? Anatomy Frontiers. Further disappointment. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded no nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of the life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interests, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suff suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. And if you hear that beeping in the background, my stove is broken for some apparent reason. Not because of the incident with the macaroni and cheese, but... It just... doesn't work. Anything over here of interest? No. Ooh. Uh, that's not good. Let's just move this right there. that. What's this? Find another way around the ru rubble in the study. I really don't like that dog. Oh, I'm out of oil. I think that all. I flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Music. It's now. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Okay, yeah, that was weird. Perhaps lighting the candles will make something happen. Perhaps not. I don't want to find out. I just want oil. Very, very badly. Right, let's go down here. It's not working. Figures. 
find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. What year is this anyways? Like 1860 something? 50 something? Ah, I have the key! Fancy that! Sir William Smith has been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. I guess that that would be us. Truly out of oil. What's this? 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. That explains what we just heard from the cutscene. Night vision. Please. Oh god. I got some reflections coming off my from my window. I mean glare. It's getting rather annoying. Ooh. Give me. I know you're slowly going insane, Daniel, but I want my Tinder. There, you're in the light. You see it? See it? Mm. Light. There's nothing wrong. So. I think that we have to pull them in order, I guess. One. Um, they both look like two. How do you call this a slight headache? I mean, the world is pulsating in and out. What was that? This doesn't happen when I have a slight headache. Did it just get dimmer over there? No, oh, let's not find out. You know what would be really helpful right about now? Some oil. light source. Ooh. Once again, a light source, please. Because I have, like, what, a bajillion... Yeah. 